Saskatchewan Centre for Patient-Oriented Research, Patient-Oriented Research Learning Health System Project, Expression of Interest Guide Video. Important things to know when submitting an expression of interest. You do not need to have all your team members and or stakeholders identified at the expression of interest stage, but you should have an idea of how you will engage with patient partners and other stakeholders. The expression of interest is step one of five in the selection process. And you do not need to have every detail developed to be successful, just as long as you're on the right track and your idea aligns with the priority area. At this point, you only need one person to be the principal investigator, but you can have up to three other people join you in submitting your expression of interest for a total of four co-principal investigators. Who can be a co-principal investigator? Patient partner. This could be the patient themselves, a family member, other informal caregiver, or a community member. Clinician or healthcare provider. This could be a doctor or a nurse, a psychologist, a pharmacist, or anyone working in healthcare. Decision maker. This could be educators, elected officials, band council members, or healthcare administrators. Researcher. Remember, you only need one person to submit your expression of interest. If you think you might be interested in being a co-principal investigator, there are a few things to consider. First, co-principal investigators will have increased responsibilities. Second, the project requires a two-year commitment. Third, all co-principal investigators must primarily reside and or work in Saskatchewan. And finally, if you're successful, the project will be a team effort, even if you submit an expression of interest independently. For more details, see Skipper's Patient-Oriented Research Learning Health System Application Guide or visit skipper.ca slash LHS.